Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Today is a special little video, a little Foul Friday style type of feel video. You know what I mean? We got old Bubba's in the back. Say hi, Bubba. Say hi. <laughs> Tell him hi. Camera shy. So today, I'm doing a little scouting first. It's uh, 7.49 in the a.m. Tomorrow, being Saturday, being opening day of big duck season here in Kansas. It's the start of the normal duck season. I'm pumped. I just got back from North Dakota. Three banger videos coming your way from North Dakota. I think the first one will either go up Saturday or Sunday and we'll upload those back to back to back and then the opening day from tomorrow will go up. So I just wanna give you a little rundown on the schedule, you know what I mean? But I think tomorrow we'll be taking out uh, the duck boat. I got the entire blind done and I think we're gonna take it out on public water, the big marsh tomorrow, from what I believe. But today, me and Bodie, we're just scouting all these small little water holes like this one here. Unfortunately, it doesn't have anything on it, that's not what I was expecting. Uh, there's been a lot of mallards using this water hole and uh, maybe they're just coming a little later. I don't I don't know, but we're gonna do some driving around today. We're gonna scout some local ducks on private land. And we're gonna weigh our options. Are we gonna hunt public or are we gonna hunt private? By the end of this video, we ought to know the game plan. But then after we get done scouting, we're gonna go back home. I got all of my duck floaters I gotta get ready. My mojos I gotta get ready, my waders, my boots, a ton of stuff is muddy and nasty from North Dakota. So I'm gonna bring you guys back to the house and go through all of the prep action, through all the gear, and show you guys what I got going on. But first of all, if you guys like these Foul Friday style videos, if you guys miss them, I know season is back. Every Friday coming at you with the Foul Friday, so you gotta drop a comment down below and let me know. You gotta let me and Bodie know, right Bubba? Yeah. yeah. He speaks. But real quick, the cold weather is back. Check it out. It is sitting at a magnificent 30 degrees. Oh, the heat, the humidity is finally gone. Literally, it was like a span of a week and a half. I don't even think it's been two weeks of transition into this cold. It was just like, boom, we're here. But since it's here, the Ducks thermal gear is available as well. Thermal hoodies. Thermal sweats. Remember them waiter sweats. They're nice. Check them out. I'll link it all down below. Go pick you up something from Ducks. You guys know, whenever you guys do, it goes directly to supporting your boy and me bringing you guys more of these videos. I appreciate y'all. Dude, we got to go find some birds. Find some birds? Yeah, you ready to find them ducks? Yeah. All right. My little helper, man. Oh, boy, look at this. Hope you can see it. Oh, yeah, you can. Check this out. Oh, she's cut and she's worked. A lot of our cornfields, uh, they're gonna get cut and then they're gonna get worked down and then they're automatically gonna get planted to wheat. It's one of our secrets here in central Kansas is our wheat production, our winter wheat. The birds, when they come down there, they find fields just like this. And instead of cornfields like Nebraska being the most demanding, most producing fields, it's our wheat fields. A lot of times it's a corn field that gets worked down so there's still kernels in the soil that they can find. But then that winter wheat after January 1st sprouts up and when that ground freezes after January 1st, that's when it gets really hard and really cold around here. That wheat comes up about three inches and uh, it's really easy pickings for the birds. They don't have to move dirt around or dig with their beak trying to find the, the kernel, whether it's milo or corn or beans, the winter wheat is our ticket. So it's good to come back from North Dakota and see a lot of fields cut, a lot of fields already worked. Good news, boys. Is that good stuff, Bubba? Yeah. Yeah, man. Them birds are gonna be here anytime. And, and a little migration update. The migration is completely underway. I mean, it has started, it is cranking. Uh, uh, Canada has had two rounds of snow, just dustings, nothing crazy. But the last day in North Dakota, which was yesterday, we had to get out of Dodge quick. 
because they were supposed to get eight inches overnight and uh, I, haven't, I haven't heard what they've got if you do know uh, drop a comment down below and let me know how much uh, snow North Dakota actually ended up getting I'm sure a lot of you guys are from there big shout out to my North Dakota people but we should be happy the migration is underway when I was in North Dakota uh, we had migrating specs uh, that, that we we're able to get into I don't want to spill the beans too much about the videos but we had migrate specs that we were able to call down and but we were able to see that the migration is for surely underway they're headed our way boys get ready get ready oh well a little change of plans i guess it's along the same plans getting ready for duck opener tomorrow i got the boat all ready check it out the blind is done check this bad boy just straps up folds down oh see this fabric here this is a wind stopper and then this is the actual blind material so this whole thing raises up and the camo nets drape down and then when there's some flap doors that fold over let's go ahead and set it up all right shouldn't be that hard to set up i just put it down let's see how long it takes here shouldn't take that long this boat i'm telling you what this is going to be an absolute game changer, y'all. Y'all know how badly I have wanted a duck boat for so many years. We finally got it. We're going to be getting out on big water this year for ducks. Big lakes, big marshes, big ponds, big anything, small anything, I don't care. I'm ready to use the boat. There we go. Now we can go ahead and raise her up. There's that one. There's that one. Well, here she is. Now you just grab that camo net, pull it out a little bit, let it drape down. Look at that. One thing is you gotta move that motor out of the way for that blind to lay down. But yeah, there we go. Check that out. Drape her down the side. Woo, she's looking good, boy. I could not be any more excited for the boat look at that beauty just an absolute beauty ah we're gonna get out on some big water this year gonna be able to get out on water on a boat not relying on buddies with boats you know what i mean let's get inside well here's the captain's chair here it's actually an awesome little cooler with a cushion but check it out got a little long seat here so if we want to sit on this side we can we can move that over here we can move this bench over there, whichever. But then, our tippy tops, look at that. Then this one comes like this. Ooh! <laughs> look at that, boys. You just pop right up, bam! Shoot them right in the beaks. This is beautiful, though. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Can't even see straight. I'm ready to go. But guys, real quick. Just to remind you all, I am giving away this boat. All you got to do is sign up for the Ducks T-Shirt of the Month. I will link it down below. A lot of you know what it is. You receive a dope Ducks T-Shirt one-off once a month in your mailbox. And by subscribing for the Ducks T-Shirt of the Month, it enters you to win this bad boy. We'll be drawing the winner at the end of the season. So the more months you're subscribed, the more entries you get. You know what I'm saying? So I will link it down below if you guys are interested, but it's time to pull this thing to the lake. We gotta go take it to the, to the state park office and get this bad boy tagged, you know what I mean? But I wanted to show you guys how it goes down real easy. Fold this back, fold this one back, which is hitting the roof, that's cool. And then right here, there's these little couplers right here. Just lift them up, just lift them up like that, and it folds down. Same back here, lift it up, folds down. There's the front of it, folds down, lift it up. There she goes. Check that out. Boom. Well, we are on the way to go get the boat registered. Um, pulling it along in case they need to see it. I don't think they actually need to see it. They just need the title and the numbers off of it to run it. Well, we got the boat all registered up, ready to go, ready to get her on the water. All I gotta go do is buy the letters and numbers that go on the side, the stickers. But uh, here at McDonald's, you ever pull a trailer or a boat through a drive-through and get all kinds of bad looks? Yeah, 
I used to be the guy that complained about guys like me now that do pull trailers through drive throughs I used to complain all the time, but now I'm the, I'm the guy that does it, so I'm sorry. All kinds of bad looks, all kinds of glares. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take a number one with a large Dr. Pepper and that'll be it. One Big Mac combo with a large Dr. Pepper, you total on that is 646 way first Tennessee. Right on, thanks. Oh god. Oh no, we're gonna hit the curb. Oh. Go. Oh, curb check. Well, we are back home. Whew! I just went and picked up the numbers for the side of this bad boy picked up some more bungee straps to hold that blind down going down the road just kind of bouncing I don't want it just taking off on me you know but old Freddy boys out here Fred you ready for the boat you ready to go hunting on that boat Fred has never hunted out of a boat uh, I'm sure he's gonna love it he did great North Dakota I can't wait to show you guys some North Dakota videos <sighs> Fred retrieved literally so many more species than I ever guessed he would um even retrieve some geese so be expecting the north dakota videos to come they are absolutely awesome oh fred look at him we just got back yesterday so he had three full days of a frame blind hunting duck hunting over water he did great and he learned so much check him out he's like dad why aren't we hunting today i brought him home and my wife beth she was like wow fred looks skinny i'm like he lost weight in three days. He ran miles upon miles. When we'd get out of the truck, you know, taking decoys into the field with the truck, yada, 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 he ran the whole way back and forth. It was good for him. But the moment I've been waiting for, let's fill these bad boys with some decoys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh, the season's here, baby. I know, I know, I've been traveling, I've been ducking, goose hunting. Uh, a lot of you are probably like, Bob, dude, you've been hunting. What's the, who cares, right? I'm so uh, just ready to be home with the family. I am so sick and tired of leaving the family. The trips have been great, awesome hunting, amazing, amazing people, but I'm ready to stay home and hunt, you know what I mean? I'm ready to be home with the family. I'm ready to be in my bed, my own bed every night. Oh, Frederick, I don't think he'd care either way just as long as he was able to keep hunting. I'm serious. He loved it. He learned so much. He came, he came so far, so far just over this last week. But here she is, ready to go. All I gotta do is uh, put my mojos in here, put my paddles in here, I gotta get a handful of life jackets can't forget that but other than that she's ready to go boys but i did want to share some stuff with you a lot of you have been asking bobby what do you use for ammunition what size shot what size shell for ducks guys i'm gonna be rocking number two three inch three inch number two steel that's the way to go for me for smaller ducks that seem faster a little harder to hit i like to use number four shot a lot of you guys have been asking. I just wanted to throw it in a video for y'all. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Today's video is not a crazy uh, hunting, crazy footage, anything like that. It's just a get ready, guys, because the season's finally here. Duck opener is tomorrow here. I'm ready to get after it. I hope you guys are too. Please be safe out there. Please keep your safeties on at all time, guys. Gun safety, gun safety, gun safety. Um, I'm not trying to sound cliche. I'm not trying to speak on something that I don't know anything about. What I do know, guys, is I hunt a lot. You all know that. And accidents can happen at any given time. Just like A-frame blinds, just like laydown blinds. Heck, just like laying on your back in white. Your gun can get stepped on by a dog and go off. Literally, I've seen a dog step on a gun that was on safety, pull it off safety, and hit the trigger with a pole just by running, running past it and stepping on it. You know what I mean? So please, guys, please, 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 gun safety. Know where your barrel tip is aimed at all times. Um, please, gun safety. Accidents can happen so, so, so darn easy. 
be safe out there in the marshes uh, make sure you take a buddy if you go solo. Please don't get in any deep stuff. I know, I know. I'm a dad. I'm out here just preaching to the choir. I know, I know. You guys get the point. I uh, just wanted to get it across. Safety. Uh, we need to be talking about safety a lot more here on the channel. And uh, I'm going to do it. You know, I'm going to make it a priority. And it's not that you guys don't know safety. Um, a lot of you probably know safety better than I do. But I just want to keep it fresh in all of our memory banks. Uh, I just want to say it so you hear it and so you remember it. So I remember it. If it comes out of my mouth, I better be remembering it. You know what I mean? But guys, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so. Waterfowl season's here. Four to five videos coming at you every single week. Hit that little notification bell down there so it notifies you when your boy uploads as well. But the thermal hoodies, that new Ducks Wax Canvas hat is available as well. Check that bad boy out. Got a beautiful little patch on that bad boy. Literally my favorite hat that we have at DucksWaterfowl.com. I'm serious. But I will link this bad boy down in the description below. Thank you all for being here. Be expecting the North Dakota hunt videos to come probably starting tomorrow. But good luck out there, y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that